Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to continue the second half of the video I promised regarding the DJI Spark and how to link both the remote and your mobile device and how to swap between the two and the best way I think is the most simplest way to do that. Okay, here we go. In my setup, I will be using an iPhone. Okay, I believe Android is similar. There might be a little bit of difference, but not a lot. Okay, before I get started, there's a few things I wanna clarify to give you a better understanding how the process works. Okay, we all know that they communicate within each other with either an OTG cable or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth but <clears throat> so basically you treat the spark and the remote like they're routers transmitter transmitter your phone receives okay so and there's you gotta also know the different uh, modes that the spark is in okay and two ways to determine that either the flashing lights or the beeps I like to use the beeps is a lot simpler and says sitting there trying to count and I show you um, what I mean by that okay right now I'm going to show you how to pair the remote and the spark without your phone so having said that well how I explained earlier you got one that transmit one that receives Okay, and then another thing I want to point out real quick. One beep means your primary, which is your transmitter. Two beeps means your secondary, which is your mobile device. But right now I'm going to show you the transmitter, how to pair with your spark. So that means one beep, your primary, right? That's how I reference it to it. Because um, it's easier for me to remember it that way. One beep, transmitter, two beeps, your secondary. Okay, so because one has to transmit, one has to receive, so this is obviously transmitting. That's why they call it transmitter, right? The obvious. So power this sucker on first. I'm not even gonna pull that out, I don't need to. So I wait till it starts beeping. Press once, hold down a second time. Until it powers up. And now one beep to pair it. So I'll hold it down, the main button, until I hear one beep, and then I'll let it go. You hear the beep? Let's give it a second. Waiting. There she is. Took a while, but it got there. Um, I'm indoors, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it. Usually it pairs faster than that, but that's how it is. That's how you paired it. And how I know it works, when I toggle the switch, you see how my gimbal, gimbal's moving. Show you again that it's paired. There she is. All right. Paired. That's how you pair just the two, the remote and the spark. Now I'm gonna power it off. We'll start over. Now I'm going to show you how to pair 
the spark, and your phone. Okay. And again, I'm going to power it on. And remember what I said earlier. One's transmitting, one's receiving. This time, this is transmitting. So this is like a router, right? Your phone is receiving. That's like when you're looking for your router, connecting to a Wi-Fi. So, you open your Wi-Fi and you look for it, right? And it's not going to pop up. When you open your Wi-Fi, it's not going to pop up once the spark is powered. Unless, until you put it in that mode to where it's transmitting. To do that, remember the beeps I uh, mentioned earlier? This is your phone, secondary. One beep was your remote, two beeps is your phone. Just remember that. So, once we power it on, we'll hold it until you hear two beeps, and then it'll pop up. Power it on. See? It won't pop up. Will not find it till you hold it. Power button until you hear two beeps. There you go. Actually, it's three. The one initial, the two. What I'm talking about, the two beeps, is the two quick beeps. So three technically, but it's the two quick, quick beeps next to each other. And what I like to do is, uh, if it doesn't show up right away, you just kind of back up, so it kind of refreshes. And it should show up. See, spark. I called it Spark RC. You can personalize that. It's connected. Just to show you again. See? No internet connection, but it's connected because it's got the check. That's the reason the light's still going crazy because you ha it has to connect with your DJI Go. See? And it stops. Connect it. When you hit Go Fly, the way you can tell it's connected. As you can see, it's transmitting. And if I turn that on, there you go. Connect it. Now I'm going to power it off. I'm going to kill everything. Now I'll show you how to connect both. Okay guys, sorry about that. I had to cut because I had to swap batteries on my GoPro. Um, we ended up, before my GoPro died, um, with a spark connected to the to your uh, smart smartphone so now we're going to connect both of these together and because you connected to your smartphone you got to pair this back up because what we're going to try to do now is uh, use both of them okay both of them together to do that you got to pair it back to the remote S so remember one beep being your remote two beeps because this is primary two beeps secondary so we got to go look for the one beep. And one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video um, is to speed the process up to actually put this into pairing mode to the spark. And I don't remember if I mentioned it is you have to push these two buttons. This one, this one, actually three and this one all simultaneously. And it puts the remote into a pairing mode and then your spark will pair fast. So Power up your spark. Power up your controller. 
Yeah, I don't remember uh, doing that at the uh, beginning. And the only reason it paired is probably because the last time I flew it, it was already paired. But this time, I know it won't pair. You can sit here all day until this battery dies. It's not gonna pair until you push these two and this one together. Until you hear, until you hear that beep like that. And then the spark will find it. Remember, you hold this down until you hear one beep. There's the one beep. Now it's gonna look for it. There you go. It's paired. Green light. Everything good to go. Powered on again. Look. We're connected. Okay. Now. Now we hook up the your phone to it using the Wi-Fi. I'm not going to use an OTG for this purpose. So you again you look for your yeah, I called it GGI1. That's my remote. Your remote is transmitting. Okay, because it's connecting to the remote. Your remote is transmitting. Receiving. I like to connect everything so I'm not. And when you're using an OTG cable, you can skip this part because the, OT, the, the OTG cable, this thing, it will connect to your phone so it doesn't need that Wi-Fi connection. Make sense? There she is. We connected. See? We're connected. We got video on the phone, so it's communicating. And the remote is working. We got green light. Just to prove it, pick on the motors. Shut off the motors. Okay, guys, that is the most simplified way to swap back and forth. And once you understand how how the spark transmit, your receiver transmit, what mode to put it in, you're not going to have a problem at all. You just got to remember those things. All right? Thank you. And do subscribe and like if you find it.